Hey everybody, Lady Cheryl here, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be featuring more of what I'm doing. For example, I'm going to share with you how I'm helping to raise my two grandchildren that I live with. I'm going to share hydroponic gardening with you. I'm going to share with you some exciting traveling I'll be doing things I'm going to be doing to improve my health. I'm going to share my houseplant jungle in my bedroom. You guys know I'm going to be back out there doing my container gardening. It's the spring of the year. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, you know, I told you to put a fan on them. Put a fan on your hydroponics. It toughens them up and makes them get real strong. And they grow very fast. Now, last week, I showed in a video where I harvested the basil. Now, it's grown all the way back up to the top. And I think at this point, and, and this uh, lettuce, I'm going to just remove the whole entire plant, make a salad out of the lettuce. My daughter's gonna dehydrate the basil and I'll start some more veggies in that spot. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around and show you that fan right there. That makes the difference. More than you think. Because this tomato plant, this uh, Tiny Tim, is real strong. It's getting too heavy. Most times I want to come over here and look at it. It's tilting or it's leaning. And I have to put it back in. I ordered these 12 Oxalis Triangular Shamrock Bugs. And they sent me about 14. Uh, and most of them are sprouting. I've never grown them before. I'm going to show you a picture, I'll insert it right here, of what this plant will actually look like. And it's a it's a beautiful decorative house plant. However, uh, some people believe you can eat them and they say it's sour. I'm not growing them for that purpose, I'm just growing them for decoration. So I'm just going to stick my little finger, you know what, I'm just going to lay this. Just going to lay them on top and put more soil on top of it i'll stay in touch with you guys and keep you abreast to you know how they're growing or if they're going to grow i ordered the seeds from um the bulbs that's what they call them from amazon and i'm just gonna shallow plant these and just put a little soil right on top of it just regular potting mix indoor potting mix okay i'll be back with some results in a few days weeks so <laughs> Whenever it occurs. It's Wednesday, December 20th. And I just want to show you the shamrock bulbs. And I had put this uh, saucer over them, put them in the window. And now you can see some have sprouted and they're turning into the purplish color. So I'm going to water them lightly, take the, the saucer off. I would then put them back in the window where they can receive a lot of sun. Okay, so it is Saturday. Another three days have gone by and my little baby plants are looking pretty good. You can see that shamrock shape to the leaves is coming in. And I imagine, well, I can tell, they're gonna open up right there. They're gonna open up. You can see it when you look down here. Okay, so I'll show you this plant again in another video after the uh, uh, leaves start really coming on. Very good. Okay, Bria. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. And you, you win a little all, Bria. Because every time we, when you harmonize, you went off. We're going to do just that part. Oh, what? Oh, what? Ready? Oh, what fun it is to ride one horn's open sleigh. No matter what he says, you do the melody. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, sing. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. No, you went off again, Bria. You went off. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Do your part by yourself. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. So why can't you sing it like that when he sings it? It's sing it hard. all together. What? Oh, oh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. No, Bria. One, one, oh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now watch Brian and I do it together. You ready, Brian? Yes. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. See, Brian will remember his part. You keep trying to sing what he sings, and you go off. Oh. Want to try it again? One, two, ready, sing. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. You got it. That was good. That was it. A little while ago, back around the second week of November, my brother came to visit me during the time that I was on the heart monitor. And we just basically relaxed and did some things like have a pedicure. I took him and my daughter out, you know, just to relax and manicures. And we had a really good time. My children and I took my brother, Pastor John Talley II, to uh, dinner along with my grand angels. So here's just a few pictures of them. We had a wonderful time. I'm telling you guys, he lives in Indiana, and so does my other brother and sister. And every time we get together, we just have a beautiful time. Later, my only sister, who has a son that lives in Texas, came for Thanksgiving. And I had the opportunity to spend some time with her. And we played games, guys. I don't know if you ever played that game, uh, head, knees, shoulders, but we did it. We could hardly get up, but we had a ball. I really enjoyed the past Thanksgiving. Even though I wasn't all the way back to normal, we had a good time. Is December 20. What is it, Brian? The 20th? Yeah. Yes, and I got a present I bought for myself, and Brian is opening it up, and you're gonna pull it up real high, and then sit it on the floor right in front of the box. And then the next thing you're gonna do, these. Uh, I love Costa Farms where they send plants because they put these stakes, you want to turn it around. So you can see both of them on the side so the boxes won't get bent or the merchandise in the box won't get bent. The next thing you're going to do is come right in here, Brian, and you're going to cut the paper off right here where the seam is. See right here? Just cut right there. Go straight down and don't cut the plant. Tape and Brian. <laughs> Go all the way down. And once you get it going, you can tear it if you get a straight line. Don't be rough with it. Go all the way down. Now, you're gonna lift it up from the, yes! And let's see what we got. We have a Monsteria plant. Leaves look like it's in good shape. It's, oh, this is right here. It's broken. See that right here? They, where they had to cut it off. And this one's in good shape. This is not as nice as this one I have in here. The ones that have more um, leaf separation right here. You see right here? And then when you get them and they get a little older and you get little holes in it, those are the rare ones. Okay. I want to show you how well this is packed. It came with the saran wrap, wrapped all the way around it. So the soil doesn't fall out in the shipping. And then they've even packed this paper. It's still moist to let you know that there's still uh, moisture in the soil. And they, they do that to keep it from uh, everything from falling out. So... I got the plant on sale. I'll put the original price that it was selling for, and then it was on clearance, and I'll share it with you. And then I got free shipping from Prime. But, um, yeah, I'm pleased. As the 
plant gets older, uh, it'll get more definition. You can see some issues right there. But there's one good leaf on here. And that's this one right here. Yeah, I'm going to clean it all up and I'll let you know in a few months how it's doing. Another thing I want to point out to you is that this plant uh, arrived with new growth. You can see right there coming out. And then over here, see this one, this leaf. So it's it's vibrant. Yeah, and I look like something pushing through here. Let me see. I don't know. That might be the beginning of a leaf. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, I isolated this plant for two days. And I thoroughly flushed it out by just running tap water through the pot until, you know, I could see that it was thoroughly flushed out. And then I added what I told you in a previous video, this systemic houseplant insect control that will protect your plants from damage from aphids, scales, white flies, and some other uh, plants like, I mean, other insects like gnats. And I just thoroughly put it around the bottom of here and then still damp. And you can see some of the granular still here. And then what will happen with this is as the plant continues to grow, uh, the product will get into the leaves, the stems, and just fight off insects. Next, I spray it with this crystal leaf shine. I get it from Amazon too. What's so nice about this is you just spray it and you don't, don't have to keep repeating it. For example, let me show you this plant right here. I haven't sprayed this plant in several months. And so if dust or anything accumulates on it, you can just wipe it off real quickly and not to work so hard and you won't be damaging your leaves. So you can see it's more shine here. So, uh, yeah, put some leaf shine on it. I spray it on the front and the back of the leaves. And, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Hey, guys, it is, what, Saturday, December 21st? No, or Saturday, 22nd? Saturday, December 23rd. 3rd. Gosh, I'm really behind. Okay, we just removed this Thai basil from the arrow garden. As you can see, it's beginning to put on flowers. So it has gone through the growth cycle. You can see them appearing there. So I'm gonna take them out. This was started November 14th. And then we'll just put some more seeds in. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna end this video. It's the day before Christmas Eve. And I want to share with you that these dwarf red robin cherry tomatoes are beginning to flower. And that just happened so fast that when I noticed that yesterday, I said, let me get two more of these systems. So they came in today. I've got them set up with the uh, water. I'm not going to videotape how I do it because I just did it in the last video. But I'm going to start more seeds in these two systems, this one and this one right here. So that makes me have a total now of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten systems. I guess I like hydroponic gardening. God bless you all, and I hope I will be able to share something with you before Christmas. If not, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.